This video describes the three-dimensional data visualizer new in StatGraphic Centurion version 17. The three-dimensional visualizer statlet creates a dynamic visualization of multiple time series using bubble charts. Up to five variables may be displayed on the chart. Three variables are displayed along the X, Y, and Z axes. A secondary variable may be used to define bubble colors. A second secondary variable may be used to define the bubble sizes. Time is manipulated using controls on the Statlet toolbar. As an example, we'll look at economic and demographic data for 188 countries collected between 1961 and 2009. The data come from the World Bank. I've loaded the data into the Stat Graphics data sheet. To create the visualizer, I'll go to Statlets, 3D Dynamic Visualizer. On the z-axis, I'm going to put total life expectancy. On the x-axis, I'm going to put fertility rate. That's the average number of children that each woman gives birth to. On the y-axis, I'll put infant mortality rate. I'm going to slice the data by year. I'm going to identify the bubbles using the country code. For the size of the bubbles, I'll use the rural population. That's the percent of the population that lives in rural rather than urban areas. And finally, for the color, I'll use region, which identifies the region of the world in which each country is located. When I press OK, it will open up the new statlet. You can see that there's quite a bit of variability in these variables that I'm looking at. Notice that fertility ranges from a low of about two children per woman to a high of about eight children per woman. Infant mortality ranges from perhaps 20 all the way up to 240. And of course, life expectancy varies between about 30 and 75. You'll also notice a fairly strong relationship between the variables. For the year 1961, which is what you're looking at now, the points lie along a curve in a three-dimensional space. You'll also notice that there are certainly groups of countries oriented by region. Most of Europe is up here, most of Sub-Saharan Africa and the Middle East and Arabia are down here. To change the year I'm looking at, I have a couple choices. I can go up to the Statlet toolbar and pull the slider to the right, which will increase the year from 1961 to 2009. Notice how all of the countries move up toward the upper left. I can also push the right arrow, which will cause time to step one year at a time. It's even more clear now that the entire world is moving toward higher life expectancies, lower fertility rates, and lower infant mortality. If you see points that don't follow the pattern of the rest, you can change the slider until you see the points you want to identify. Here, for example, is a point which doesn't follow the pattern of the rest of the world. If I click on it with my left mouse and then go to the data book, you'll see that that's Rwanda. I'll now go back to the 3D Dynamic Visualizer. I'll click the right mouse button and go to Analysis Options. And I'll ask it to label Selected Identifiers. 
I'll th then go down until I find Rwanda and select it. I'm also going to ask for breadcrumbs to be left behind for the selected identifier and then press OK. Now I'll bring time back to 1961 and push the right arrow. There's Rwanda. Watch what it does. It stays with the rest of the world for a while until about 1990 when it breaks with that pattern but eventually comes back and follows the rest of the world again. A couple other options are available. If I press the right mouse button and go to Analysis Options, I can ask it to smooth the data. That is, smooth each of the underlying time series before we plot it. That would keep the points from jumping around quite as much. We can also tell it how we'd like to handle missing values. If we tell it to replace missing values with the same value as in the previous time period, then if it hits any missing values, it'll just use the latest available data. There's one more thing I want to show you. I'm going to push my right mouse button and go to Analysis Options. I'll first turn off the breadcrumbs. I'll then go up to the Highlight field and ask it to highlight any large increases or decreases. This will highlight any bubbles corresponding to increases or decreases of 1% or more in life expectancy, the variable on the vertical axis. I'll also ask it to label all highlighted bubbles. I'll now bring year back to 1961 and push the right arrow on the toolbar. You'll now see, as time evolves, any countries with large changes in life expectancies will be highlighted and labeled. These types of dynamic visualizers let you see things you could never see in a static display.